Gentlemen, thank you so much. You missed some fireworks while you were talking to a soaking wet Mike Gundy, Adam Amin, Rod Gilmore, and Quint Kesnick with you. We haven't even played a half a minute yet. We've only seen a couple of plays from scrimmage. The last one was this, a yeah. Kellen Mond 62-yard touchdown run. Yeah, just a simple zone read play, nothing fancy, except that NC State all hyped up to deal with Williams. Both linebackers went after him. Mond held onto the ball and just outran everyone on NC State's defense and that's one thing to keep in plenty of time down the middle what a grab by Kerry Angeline the tight end out across the 30 yard line the swing of things in Boone North Carolina so tonight a couple of different coordinators calling the plays for Finland there goes the freshman, Ricky Person, with a great run. 14 yards. Play clock winding from 43. And Dunn keeps doing what he's done all season long. Extended drive leads to three for Dave Doran. Mon has that one batted into the air and intercepted. Picked up by Andreas Bryant. Darian Roseboro flipped it into the air for the pick. <laughs> Finley, end zone. Riley, what a catch! <laughs> C.J. Riley stepping up the depth chart and stepping up the wow factor. Touchdown, Wolfpack. Wow. Too, but he started 30 games. <laughs> Good throw to the outside, and Emeka Emezi breaks free in the Texas A&M territory with a penalty marker thrown at the end. I'm sure if you're Mike Elko, you're rethinking your strategy. There goes a big run for Person out to the 36 and now the 35-yard line in A&M territory. Plenty on it. Slot to the left side. Mon. Heaving and he's got his man. Courtney Davis with a big play for the Aggies. And just like that, a throw can get you back on track. Here comes Williams, and he gets stopped by Roseboro again. Brock Miller, the weak side linebacker. <laughs> A top 30 rushing offense this year hasn't done much since that Mon touchdown. So he'll go to the air and find his top target from the tight end spot. One of the best in the nation is Jay Sternberger. 28-yard catch for the junior. Well, it's about time. You know, Jimbo's offense requires a really good tight end like he had at Florida State, and this guy is fantastic. During awards season. Here comes Travion Williams with space. And there goes Travion down inside the 10. He is down. That ball came out at the end of the play, but it's first down and goal for the Aggies. Nothing wrong with the right side of the line on that play. Nope. They got to the edge, blocked the force, gave a corner, made that available for Williams. Does he stay in? Yeah, yeah I think he's he down stayed in. And yeah. He's, he's yeah. down all the way inside the final. AM. It's Williams with the cut to the end zone. Touchdown, Texas AM. You know, you, you'd like for the left side of the line to get something done. We had a bit of a game clock issue. Here in the second quarter. Mon delivers on target. He's got Rodgers for the first down to the 42-yard line. You know, every, every so often. Williams with a good block by the center. Eric McCoy. That springs him loose inside the Wolfpack 40-yard line. Oh, when you can get to the edge. You got a chance. And 
Mon keeps it. It was the right call. Gets dragged down by Dexter Wright, but it's first and goal for Texas A&M. It's the same play in which he ran 62 There's yards for a touchdown. One minute it's a zone read. You see the really pushed down hard by Conte, 52. Mon, back of the end zone. You called it, Rod. Rodgers reaching high for the touchdown. Well, Rodgers is allowed to roam free through the end zone. No one puts a body on him, and he runs the post route, and Mon does the right thing. He's six foot four, put the ball up high, let him go get it. Finley into traffic, and he's picked off. Intercepted by Leon O'Neill Jr. The first interception of the senior's career. The middle of the field Ruined is always. The field. Wide right from the start. Looked like he had the distance on it, but it was wide to start it. There were five That's seconds the on the, the clock on the kick, and that will take us to halftime. Hopefully we'll have the clock issues sorted out. And without Otaro Alaka tonight, their leading tackler from the linebacker spot. Gillespie's got a hole, a first down and more. Barreling inside the 35. What a beautiful block. Watch Dodson, 25, the linebacker, try to get inside. They turn him inside, opening up the hole, and that... That's the nation with that 50% rate. But 0 for 6 tonight. Intercepted! Picked up by Tyrell Dodson! And the junior from Franklin, Tennessee, with the house call. Dodson simply was dropped back and reading Finley's eyes. Read it perfectly. Couldn't have been easier for him. Finley never saw him, didn't anticipate him. Receiver roll. And he's got nine targets already tonight. A touchdown as well. Great penetration by the front from Texas A&M. A little bit more juice in this unit. Finley hit from behind. That ball came out. Justin Matta BK put a hit on Finley and into the Ohio State bench Woody Hayes didn't take too kindly to that throw a forearm at him and the rest is history never coached another game at OSU Travion Williams putting his stamp on this game right now a 38 yard run his longest of the night he has zone blocking to the right side gives him the opportunity to use his vision and pick the hole he wants another tremendous block up front by his center McCoy and then he picks his lane and man Williams another run trying to drag defenders along with him he took Jarius Moorhead down to the 17 yard line Weebles wobble. Texas A&M record. Finds the hole. Finds the end zone. Touchdown, Travion Williams. Oh, man. All the things that you and Q talked about, display right here. Now, McCoy gives him a little bit of block outside, but he doesn't need much. Also, Sternberger, he finds a little lane. You see the acceleration, the quick... SEC teams in action during this bowl season. Good penetration by the nickelback, Deshaun Capers-Smith. 
the bow challenge. Yeah, like six. I thought yeah. that was an interesting discussion. There's no shortage of opinions by coaches. <laughs> well, I think the opinion of Dave Doran right now is his offensive line is starting to wear down yeah. against this A&M front. Man. Creates some inducement that makes it more palpable, more fair. There goes Trevion Williams. Gets the final block. 93 yards. See ya. With that incredible career long run, Travion Williams is the all time single season Texas A&M rushing champion. Well, he gets a little help up front. They even get a good block on the safety 34 kid glass and then you see the speed. If people had questions about him, it was, well, how fast is he? That might answer it right there. He has the balance. He has the for their final game against Cincinnati to close out the regular season. And a new quarterback is in for North Carolina State. 12 on third down tonight, but two for two on fourth down. McKay will not get there. Great job by Ronnie Elam, the sophomore from Magnolia, Texas. There goes Corbin. Adding on to the big night on the ground for Texas A&M. Oh, keep your eyes on the center, 64 McCoy. Watch him pull around and get a terrific block and then a kick out by Sternberger. I mean, you really can't draw it up any better than that. McCoy. Seth Small, excellent freshman campaign, drills the field goal. 45 to 13, Texas A&M will start to put a photo that he should have, but he is now our Capital One player of the game with a Gator Bowl record 236 rushing yards there's McKay on the run hit by Jaden Peavy no they have to be happy with what what's been done here lately and maybe this guy will be at the helm come next season Matthew McKay the 210 pound redshirt freshman well look they're trying our spotter Bill Garrity our fine status statistician Ed Spita Gillespie Leading towards the end zone, you could not script it better. In his final game, Colin Gillespie caps it all off. The 12th man punches it home. And the 12th man nation at AM ought to be going nuts because this run tells you everything you need to know about the 12th man fighting, overcoming, never giving up. He walked on, earned a scholarship. He represents the 12th man. Jimbo got his bath. <laughs> There's a lot going on on that. There's a lot happening there. <laughs> wow. Good for Cullen Gillespie. The 12th man is the walk-on who is voted upon to be the 12th man by his teammate. It's an honor that goes back about 80 years in Texas A&M football history, even going back into the 70s and 80s and the Jackie Sherrill days. It's an honor that, in fact, Colin Gillespie has said means more to him than a scholarship would yeah. have. Uh -huh. That should tell you a whole lot. If you're unfamiliar with some of the A&M history, that should tell you everything you need to know about Colin Gillespie, what he means to Texas A&M, and what A&M means to him. How cool is that? That's, that's, you cannot write that any better for that young man, and I hope that young man enjoys that moment for the rest of his life. Demonte Rem gets the carry. And that'll take us to triple zeros. Jimbo Fisher closes out his opening season at Texas A&M with a bowl win and a nine win campaign. For Rod Gilmore, Quint Kesnick, Adam Amin, saying so long from Jacksonville, Florida.
We are exactly an hour away from the new year, and SVP will take you right up to midnight on the East Coast. Good night, everyone.